Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today I've got not really a structured video, but it's a little weird, and I've got something to explain. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about this three gallon long tank, and specifically the inhabitant in it. So the keen eyed of you might have already seen that I've got a pee puffer in here now, and my Patreons will already know. Uh, a while back that I posted a post about I got a pee puffer um, so originally I had a pee puffer uh, like a year and a half ago something like that his name was Gerald he was my favorite fish I've ever owned he was awesome and long story short maybe half a year into me owning him um, I was doing water change on his tank I looked away for one second and I siphoned him up and had pulled him outside before I had noticed that I had uh, siphoned him out it was terrible um, it was awful it was uh, the worst way for a fish that I enjoyed so much my favorite fish I've ever owned to go um, so I just sort of kept off buying another pea puffer for a while and then I saw one in store and I got one because my three gallon long was open and those of you who have been watching the channel recently might be wondering well you had a sparkling grommy in here what happened to him and it's a very interesting story and he is not dead um, although I thought he was um, but let me let me get into this so about a day after I posted that video uh, escaping his tank, uh, I was doing a water change and he jumped out. Um, I was just I was just doing water change and then I saw him fly out, and I didn't I, I frantically started looking around I couldn't find him, and after a while of searching I pronounced him dead. He just didn't make it. He didn't make the uh, jump because I mean sometimes if a fish jumps out you can find him, grab him, put him back in the tank and they can be fine. But he must have gone behind a dresser or something like that and he was lost so unfortunately my spoken grommy had passed away or so i had thought and about two weeks later i was in a fish store and i saw this guy um wherever he went still unnamed by the way uh he's so small even in a three gallon tank oh yeah there he is he's right there uh about two weeks later i saw this guy he was looking really healthy uh didn't look like he had a lot of maternal parasites or anything like that because these puffers are wild caught so uh they usually are really sunken sunk belly and really skinny stuff like that so he looked really healthy he looked really happy and i figured hey why not i'm gonna take him home i want to pee puffer for a while and i've got the perfect tank open for him one now so i brought him home put him in here i was like okay we lost smoke and grommy but i've got this guy now and then i so the way that this is this whole tank area is laid out i've got this three gallon long tank and my no filter tank and a wabakusa and stuff like that on this shelf right here right and then Below the shelf is my black water tank right here, and then another uh, tank over there, my guppy tank, and then my multi tank down here. And I was feeding my uh, black water tank one night, just sort of looking around, and in the tank, there was my spoken grommy. He had just popped out and miraculously made it in this little tiny gap, <laughs> like from here into this tiny little gap between this piece of wood and the tank, jumped into the water, plopped in there, survived in there for two weeks without me knowing he, he was even in there, just blending in with the other fish, and he's been living in there ever since. Um, it's just kind of ridiculous how he did that. It's such a, it, it's a, he got very lucky. This is a one in a million jump, especially for a fish. It's crazy that he was able to survive this and come out completely unscathed, because not only is it a long traumatic drop, for him, but the water chemistry and uh, temperatures are completely different. There's a black water tank, pH is a lot softer than in this tank because the tannins release, uh, from, release from the wood, lower the pH, and uh, it's a lot warmer in this tank, and this one's a little bit cooler. Like this one sits at like 85, and this one's like 75. And he just jumped in there, plopped right in, different parameters completely, and he was totally fine. He's, he didn't seem to have any shock. He's been in here for like two and a half weeks now, eating totally fine, just acting like he owns the place. And I guess he's just going to be living in there now. Um, It was an amazing occurrence, but uh, that's how it happened. I've got a pee puffer now, and my uh, smoking grommy is still alive, but in here. So he uh, definitely made a daredevil uh, jump right there. He, he's lucky. Uh, he made it quite the uh, jump. But yeah, so now I need a name for my cute little pee puffer. And now I need uh, you guys to let me what let me know what you think about uh, the feet of my little sparkling grommy. Um, has this ever happened to you? Have you had fish jump tanks, whatever like that? But yeah, um, I figured I'd just let you guys know. Sort of a shorter random video today. Just figured I'd tell you guys a little 
little uh, update you guys a little bit on about what happened here. I've got a peep for now. Super excited. Um, I'm still waiting to name this guy. Um, if anybody has suggestions, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.